Okay. And then we're going to move over here to uh, Tennessee, and we're going to be speaking to Jason. Hi, Jason. Wait a minute. I didn't do that right. Let me do it this way, Jason, one more time. Are you there, Jason? I am. Thank you. Good. How may we help you? How are y'all doing today? We're doing well. How are you? He said y'all. That's how you know. He's he's from Tennessee. Tennessee. He's a Southern. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) I'm actually a Yankee. Really? (laughs) Well, you have converted. um, Yes. (laughs) Yeah, I've been here 12 years now, uh, I um, and I met the love of my life when I moved here from New York. Mm. Um, she has she has three daughters, um, uh-huh. and unfortunately, my bond with my stepdaughters was um, not the greatest. Mm-hmm. Um, she left two days ago mm-hmm. um, and said that she couldn't continue to put her kids through the uh, damaging relationship with the, between us. Um, she still loves me, and it's tearing her apart that she had to do it. But she can't. She doesn't want her kids to regret uh, their childhood. How old are they? Um, I've re- um, they're thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. Okay, thirteen, and, seventeen, um, and nineteen. One of them uh, left uh, about three, four months ago to start her first year of college. And may I ask, um, what's so toxic she, about the relationship that you have with these girls? Unfortunately, um, and just recently discovered by myself, um, I have a little bit of a control issue. Um, it, 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 you know, coming into a blended family, I didn't know how to be a parent. Mm-hmm. Um, we had discussed in the beginning on how to, what we, you know, expectations and such, and um, we made some mistakes and... Um, it, we tried to come back from um, the where we where we went as far as you know the the relationship just not there was no bond there and it, mm-hmm. we we kind of went out of order if you will we didn't we didn't um, address things in the beginning and then move on to stuff and so like she doesn't like the way I discipline she doesn't like the way I I try to teach them she says I'm demeaning and I'm a bully. And, since, and that's the way the girls perceive you? They perceive you as being mean and a bully. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. All um, right. And I, right now, the only option I see to getting back with my wife is to mend things with my stepdaughters um, and prove to them that just because we separated doesn't mean I don't want a relationship with them. And it really tears me apart that I don't have a relationship with the oldest daughter Mm-hmm. And she seems to ha- harbor the most resentment. That would so be I guess typical. what I'm asking is, <clears throat> yes, yeah, and she be- she became rebellious in the end, and it re- it became really unbearable for us to be even in the same room, I see. Um, especially on my wife. And how would you go about repairing I guess, things with the daughters? I mean, if you're not living with them, what what do you think would be your plan to somehow repair the relationship with them? Um. Let them know that they're important to me. Um, and how would you do but that? But I just don't know how to go about it. Yeah, okay. So I you have a... No, uh, that's, that's okay. my struggle. So you don't have a plan. You have a general idea. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, sir. I, I, it, it's all happened so recently, I don't know where to turn. I don't even know where to start. I mean, I, I'm trying to fix me, and that's where I'm starting. Mm-hmm. That's the best place um, to start. But I want to prove... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she... I. I have to prove to my wife that I can, that we can all live together as a family again. And I don't, I don't even know where to start. How do, how do I, who, who do I turn to, to help me, you know, to, to, um, to, to reach out to my, my stepdaughters and let them know that I made some mistakes and I'm sorry. And yeah, have, go ahead. I just, have you told them, have you said anything to your stepdaughters? Has there been any kind of apology or... Yes, ma'am. You did. I have um, the 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 youngest. I haven't. She she was at her father's for Thanksgiving break, so I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet. She didn't know until yesterday. Um, the oldest, she won't talk to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I've tried reaching out. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I she's off at college, and uh, so it's kind of difficult too. And I don't want to just show up at her door mm-hmm. unannounced, right? And make this, make the situation awkward. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't even. I want to apologize to her and 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 try to mend things, and 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 ha- grow a relationship with her. 
Okay. No now, matter how this turns out. So you say that your wife says that she still loves you. She says she loves me, um, um, but it's hard to uh, be in love with me when her when she's so torn. Okay. And so she's being mama bear, and we understand that. Mothers mothers protect their children. That's what mothers do. And if their perception of you is that you're the mean bully, then her protecting them would be a logical thing to expect. But my suggestion yes, is this. If you're going to try to accomplish this, first of all, you need to go about it very slowly and very easily. Because if they already perceive you as being a bully, if they already perceive you as being mean, then understand because they have that picture of you. They have that paradigm from which they work. You've got to be careful that you don't do anything that uh, seems to reinforce that view of you. Therefore, if it were I, I would do something like this. I would approach my wife and say, I certainly understand you protecting your daughters. And I, I, actually, I honored that. I think it's a great thing to do. I also still love you. And I realize right now, because of our situation, you're not sure you're in love with me, but you say you love me. Here's what I request. May we date and, and we can, no more than what's comfortable for you, but may we date. And in the dating process, get to know each other again. And during this dating process, I would appreciate you teaching me. I mean, you're the biological mom, I'm the stepdad. Teach me some things about those daughters, about how the things I did came across badly to them and the things that I could have done or should have done that would come across better. And if she's willing to do that kind of tutoring of you on a few dates, then at some point, if that goes well, and she sees that you're really, really trying to understand and that you're asking her for the guidance because she's the biological mother, if she begins to trust you, then that maybe, maybe just maybe you could do this. Then if it were I, I would ask, may we also date the daughters? What I mean is, can we have some family time together? And if you'd rather do that with one daughter and you and me at a time, that's great. All three at a time, that's great. Whatever's comfortable for you. But I'm trying to learn. And obviously my intent is because I love you and I, I care and love for them. I'd like to fix this. Even if we don't fix this, maybe we can somehow offset some of the things I've done that have led the girls to feel that way. In other words, for the benefit of the daughters to see that I'm trying. And if at some point down the road we can figure out how to do this, I'd love to have our family back together. And so you don't you don't become hypocritical. You don't lie. You're not going to claim you're trying to do something you're not trying to do. But if it were I, Kimberly, you can react to my suggestion here. If it were I, I would start with asking the mother for some dates and letting her know with that purpose that I'm here trying to learn how to be a better person mm -hmm. and to understand what I did wrong and what to do right. And if that works, mm -hmm. Then somewhere down the line, asking to date the daughters. What do you think about mm -hmm. such a suggestion as that? I think it's. I think it's great. The concept that we talked about with the last caller of the pies. You know, you need to step back. You need to work on your pies and let that bring the relationship back together. It's similar here, mm -hmm. but with the daughters. You know, pies is a concept that works in any kind of relationship, but mm -hmm. emotionally. This mm -hmm. is where he admitted there yes. was a failure. And there's the key. And that's the key. And so, you need, you know, it, even with what we teach about smart contact, there's a daughter that doesn't want anything to do with them. Don't push yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's going to make it worse. I think that's really smart. Um, the daughters are going to also react to an extent from their mother. So sure. if he is working on dating the mom and they see from, and the mom is saying, no, there's change, mm -hmm. then it's going to build some more trust from mm -hmm. that point of view. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I think it can work. Yeah. I can't guarantee that it'll work, but it's exactly how I would go at it, and I think it has the best chance of working. Mm -hmm.